Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption 2, ladies and gentlemen. In today's video, we're going to be talking about GTA Online, and I'm lying to your faces. No, we're not. We're going to be talking about Red Dead Online. That's the official name, Red Dead Online. All of the things we know so far, all the things that we can come to expect to be in the game, and then also all of the new leaks that we've got today that I found on Twitter. We're going to be jumping into everything. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you do go on to enjoy, like it, subscribe, turn on notifications so you know when I upload more videos. If you want to see some story mode videos on like gold and best horses and all that good Red Dead stuff, check out the playlist down below in the description where all my Red Dead videos are. Anyway guys, without further ado, let's jump into the video. I should state before we get into everything that's in online, that it, this is the month. We are currently in November, it is November 1st. The beta supposedly is going to be coming out within the next week or two, and I can't wait. As soon as I get information on that, I will give it to you. But anyway, let's jump into the video. So guys, before we jump into all the new information that we received today, we're going to talk about the things that we already know are going to be in Red Dead Online. So as far as things we 100% know are going to be online, and then things that we can just come to expect that are going to be online, and then we'll talk about all of the new information. So first of all, if you guys didn't know, if you pre-ordered the game in the Ultimate Edition, you get exclusive story mode content, right? We already know that. But did you know that you also get bonus content in online? If you didn't know, now you do. So we're going to show this. I'm going to throw it up on screen right here. So this is the one. You're going to look at the bottom there. Plus bonus content in online, including bonus outfits and free survivor camp theme, rank bonuses, black chestnut thoroughbred, and free access to additional weapons. So let's look at these individually. So bonus outfits, that's pretty self-explanatory, right? We're just going to get a few more outfits when we start off the game compared to people who ordered the regular version. Free survivor camp theme, that's pretty cool because now we know that we're going to have our own camp just like in GTA Online, you're going to have your own camp where you're going to be, it's going to be like a home base. You're going to be safe. It's your own home base. So this is going to be a survivor camp theme, which is really cool. Next up here, you have rank bonuses. So obviously this is going to be similar to GTA Online as far as the, uh, the ranks are concerned. But we're going to start off with a bonus. Maybe we'll start off at rank 5, maybe it'll rank 10. We don't know. We're going to be talking about the ranks here in just a second. Um, let's move on to the next one, Black Chestnut Thoroughbred. So you're just going to start off with a better horse than everyone else. I can't imagine it's going to be too much better than the, the basic horse that most people are going to start out with. But I do think it's going to be better just like in the story mode. Next up is free access to additional weapons. Now this one's really cool. Uh, starting off the game with additional weapons is going to be something that's awesome. I can't wait to see what weapons these are. But either way, guys, that is what we know so far as far as the Ultimate Edition, as far as bonus content that we're going to be getting for pre-ordering that. So next up, guys, let's talk about the basics. Now, what is the basics? So just like story mode, we're going to have little towns throughout the map, and those towns are going to have stables. They're going to have barbers, gunsmiths, stores, saloons, doctors, hotels. They're going to have a butcher. All of these things that we've seen already in the game, these are also going to be incorporated in Red Dead Online. So just like in GTA Online, we're going to have a barber where we can customize our character. We're going to have the stable, which is similar to a pay and spray on GTA Online, where we're going to be able to customize our horse, just like we already have been doing in the story mode. There's going to be hotels for those places just for us to go to sleep. There's going to be butchers because we're going to be still hunting animals in this game online. So that being said, I don't think anyone sees this as a surprise. We all know this is just standard Rockstar Online customization. So now let's dig into the information that may be new to you. I've been looking online on Twitter, on YouTube, absolutely everywhere, trying to dig up as much information as I can possible so I can bring it into this video here for you guys today. So first and foremost, there will be an intro to the game. There will be an intro to Red Dead Online. And this intro is going to be similar to the story mode, definitely not as long as the story mode, I hope. But it's going to be an intro that just shows you about all the basics online, like where you live, and the local stores or towns. It's going to be showing you customization. And after you've completed that little intro tutorial, that's when you're going to be able to jump into the game as your own character and free roam and start ranking up. Now, data miners have actually found trophies that are embedded into the game also. Now, if you don't know what trophies are, it's basically when you unlock certain challenges within the game that it gives you a trophy on whichever console you're on. And there's been a lot of them. There's been a lot of them they have discovered. For example, free roam events. So we don't know what a free roam event is. What I can understand or what I would assume this is, is everyone has to participate in a specific event on the map, like challenges or let's say, for example, a race. Like everyone has to participate in this race. Not everyone at once, but people have to do a race and complete that challenge or that event, and then you will unlock the trophy. So the next up leaked thing we have here for you is there's going to be MVP awards, most valuable player. 
So this is when you're taking part in like a team series where maybe you like taking part in a robbery or taking over like a gang's territory and you get the most kills or the most points or you win a race or something like that you can get MVP and one of the things here one of the trophies is if you get MVP I think three or more times in three different events or if you get MVP in three different events then you get a trophy there's also a trophy for taking part in a series now to me a series this is what i'm going off this is not confirmed let me know in the comments down below what you think this is going to be but for me a series so that's a series of events right so i think it's either going to be similar to like treasure hunts like we've had in the story mode where you're going to have to go to specific places and get clues and have to follow these clues or maybe it's a hunting series right where you have to hunt specific animals and take them to the butcher but it could also be as basic as a bank robbery right you go around robbing different banks all over the map we honestly don't know yet i would love to know your opinions in the comments down below let me know what you think would be a good series so next up on leaked trophies here is going to be achieve five gold belt buckles from events now i'm assuming these five gold belt buckles or belt buckles in general are going to be very similar to the solo story mode you know how you get bronze silver and gold medals like it, depending on how well you do in the certain mission. I think that's basically what it's going to be like in multiplayer, but it's going to be gold belt buckles. All right, so we have another league trophy here, and this one is to form a persistent posse or gang. Now, this basically means they want you to create an active gang that continues on with events and challenges and things like that, and they want you to have members. And there's actually another trophy if you do a mission, I think it was I read, um, with uh, with at least two members in your posse, you get a trophy. So they want you to create like your own little clans, basically. And then you also get another trophy, and this goes with what I was just talking about, and this is counter rival gangs in free roam. So basically a counter rival gangs event I'm thinking this is so maybe they're robbing a bank and you have to go and steal their cargo from their little horse or maybe they are stealing horses or something like that and you have to go and counter them uh, similar to GTA online you guys already know how this works but that's another trophy and that <laughs> I can't wait I want to build up the biggest gang there's ever been in Red Dead Redemption 2 come join me guys we're gonna have a thousand man army member gang posse clan <laughs> And I think that's a great name for it too, the Gang Posse Clan. We are the Gang Posse Clan. Don't even try and mess with us. You're going down. Right, so next up here, as far as leaked trophies are concerned, there is a trophy for owning five or more horses. So clearly, we're going to have stables. Clearly, you're going to be able to upgrade your stables. Maybe it's like GTA 5. Maybe you're going to have like 10 stable stables, 10 horse stables. Or maybe at your camp, you'll have like a three horse stable. I don't know, but you get a trophy for owning five or more horses. These are horses that you're going to be able to buy. These are horses you're going to be able to steal. And I can't wait. And last but not least, just some of the basic trophies that have been leaked so far. Is you're going to get trophies for crafting items, um, selling pelts, selling meat to the butcher, uh, picking herbs. All of these things are going to be incorporated into the game. So we know now that we're going to be able to craft which is awesome, we know we're going to have to hunt, which is awesome. It's basically going to be the exact same game, but online. It's basically what all of this information tells me, is it's the same game, but online. Other than the whole posse gang thing, which I cannot wait for, and, you know, obviously upgrading your stables, or upgrading your campgrounds, and all of these cool things, and you know they're going to make some absolutely mental looking saddles and things could you just imagine like i don't know how crazy they're gonna get but do you guys remember gta online when it first came out it was kind of realistic and now all of a sudden we've got flying motorbikes and stuff <laughs> it's, just, it's just wild so hopefully they don't add flying horses into this i think that would ruin it but i can imagine them having some crazy looking saddles or just crazy looking hairstyles. They already have mohawks and stuff. But I cannot wait, guys. So that is actually going to do it for this video. I wanted to keep it as short and sweet as possible. Just for a quick update video for you. As more information comes in, I will be making another video. So make sure you guys are subscribed with notifications turned on. Like the video if you learn anything. Or like the video if you're excited. Or like the video. Just like the video, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below what you're most excited for. Let me know in the comments if there's anything that you want to be incorporated into this game or if there's anything you don't want to be incorporated in this game. I would love to know your opinions on this in the comments section down below so we can have a conversation about it. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video.